Hello everyone, welcome back to more Bomba, teaching the computer to play Minesweeper. I have a few things, some some business here, I guess. I'm not diving straight into new puzzles. Um, first of all, I like I clicked on these to see if there were any puzzles left, and it just solved them all. Um, I wasn't like trying to clear out a bunch of levels, but I guess something we did recently finished the remaining puzzles in these areas. Fine. Um, and then I was looking at my rules. Um, to see if any of them are silly or should go. I still don't like this one. Um, but I noticed this has not triggered ever. And it sort of makes sense, I think. I think we should just delete this rule. I don't know, maybe? Because... It's sort of already... Like, this this triggers, if there's an X or X plus one region in a, and that region is size at most X, then it must really be an X region. But I'm already writing into this region that it has at least X, because X is the lower bound here. And if there's X or fewer cells in the region, then writing at least X will just solve the region. So I I don't need, right, there's a rule here. This one will always solve such regions before I even get to it here. So this is not important. I can get rid of that. Now, we're not playing in the mode where we're limited by, uh, limited in, in how many regions we can make. And so getting rid of that is not important. But it still seems like a good idea. Now, why hasn't this one ever triggered? If there's an X or X plus one, and it overlaps with an X plus one or more, then do something. That won't trigger because I'll have already written an X plus one or fewer into the region, which will collide with this and just mark it all mines. Yes, that makes sense. So I think some of these rules that I kind of wrote proactively are not actually doing much. This one though, seems a little bit better because um, I won't have written like any rule. This doesn't cause me to write any rule that involves X plus one, right? Um, So I don't know. It hasn't ever cleared any mines. It's a little weird, but this uh, this is fine. Where did I? Why did I write this rule? I remember being upset about it. <laughs> um, and I was looking over one of my old videos, and I saw something that inspired me to write a general rule in this one. Now that I have more access to variables. But I think I need three to write the version of the rule that I want to write. Um, I don't even know where to find a... Oh, hang on. There, there was an update since I last played. Um, let me... All right. I, don't, I guess I don't have the update or something. I was told that double clicking a number will add a region into the region, the rule constructor. Uh, let me just pause real quick and make sure I'm on the latest. Okay, so I see what I was confused about. Uh, it was not pushed to like live, it was pushed to the testing branch, which I could switch to to get the latest features, but I'm happy to stick with something stable. The thing that was added is not very important to me, even though it is something that just at the moment I wanted to use. 
So I have three regions here, and let's clear out everything, because I don't actually care about these specific regions I was looking at. Um, <clears throat> but I remember there being like a one that, I mean, I don't know. I guess we could say that interacted with both other ones. I think that was what was going on. Yeah, that's right. Um, and what was interesting was that there was nowhere to put the mines for this one that didn't overlap with at least one of the others here. Which means that one of the mines going here um, in fact, I guess I could say one or more and one or fewer for both of these. Uh, in, in, the, in the video I saw, they were actually ones, but this is the, the reason, this is the more general version. You have to put at least one of the mines from this into one of these two. And therefore you can write a new region So, why is that true? Because that's even more specific, right? Cause if I, no wait, that's, this is more constraining, right? This says there's a huge area you can only put one mine into. Okay, so this is, as you can see, I think, um, like one of, at least one of the mines from here has to go into either one of these two regions. Therefore their mine total, which used to be two when combined, is now reduced to one if you exclude the area that overlaps with this. Um, and that's fine, you can write this rule, but I want to write it with more variables and say, well, if there are X or more mines here, um, I'm not even sure how many variables I need. I think it's just three, but it might be four. And I don't have that many. So I kind of want to go unlock a few more levels to be able to write this rule in its full beauty. Um, <clears throat> but to do that, I either have to get this game mode to catch up with the other one or switch to this mode. Um, oh, it solved a puzzle. And just press some more buttons. Um, which I think would mean like working through the infinities a bit more. First, let's see whether it's actually four or three that I need. Oh, the, the rule inspector is gone somehow. Also, I'm looking at a puzzle that I can't play right now, I think. No, I, yeah, that was true. Hmm, okay, maybe report that as an issue. Um, like, we could unlock a decent chunk of puzzles by working through some of the logic in, in this column, in this game mode, which I think would be an interesting and fun thing to do. But I wanted to not forget that rule I was just talking about. Um, X or more here. Like, can I, I guess I can. If I had, <clears throat> maybe what I'll do <clears throat> 
is... I'll just try to write the best version I can with just two variables. But I think I only need three. Because this can be x or more. This can be y or fewer. This can be z or fewer. And then I'll say there's y or y... Hmm. I want to be able to say <laughs> y plus z minus x go here. And I don't know any way to write minuses, right? So usually the, the solution to that is to reframe the things, decrease everything in the puzzle by x, kind of, right? So that x can be... your new base, or increase everything in the puzzle by x? But that doesn't really work in this case. Anyway, I think I'll just settle for one or more here. And say... There's x or fewer there. And I want to say y or fewer here, but this isn't quite going to solve it, because then how do I say x plus y minus 1? So what I need to do instead is say y plus 1 or fewer here. Um, and then I can just add x and y, I think. x plus y or fewer in this whole area, yeah. So this is close to what I wanted and might be as general as you can be because we lack subtraction. Um, like if I, if I put an x here, then this has to be... Well, okay, if I put a, a z here, then I don't know. Actually, couldn't this be x plus or y plus z minus 1 or plus 1 or fewer? I think that would work out okay. So I think a third variable would let me improve this rule. And it looks like it's asymmetrical around x and y and like I would need to define another version of this rule but flipped. But I don't think that's actually true. I think unification will just, cons it will just consider swapping the two regions probably to make it match this rule. So let's write that. And we got something interesting here on this puzzle even though I wasn't trying to do anything with it. I'm not sure if this has accomplished anything and also that new rule probably is going to spawn a lot of regions. But I think it should be helpful. Uh, it's this one we just made, right? No. This one? Yes. This zero or two I made, right? Yes, because of these ones. I remember this puzzle. Uh, let's see, um, what, what do we actually need to know here? I think not this, the thing I just wrote, probably. But maybe. Hmm. I don't remember what... Like, just looking at this puzzle myself, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with it. Sure, give me a hint. I've already solved this puzzle. I don't mind taking another hint. Hello? The hint button doesn't work? Is it saying, no, 
I guess we have some more of these to solve. Is the new rule that I wrote helping here? Yeah, it's cleared five cells. Nice. Now, the downside is it sure is creating a lot of garbage, huh? It's just creating a million new rules and trashing them. Or regions. I assume it's this one triggering. There are a few new regions being added. I don't see the numbers for any of this going up. How can that be when we're still just adding tons of regions? In a second, it should give up on the current puzzle because it's grown unmanageable, right? It's gotten above my limit of this. Oh no, because I haven't double clicked. I've just told it to go as hard as it can on this puzzle by just clicking here once. Huh. I guess these triggers only count on... Yeah, see, this triggered 1,900 times. And only saw cleared seven squares. So it's helping. But it's also creating a bunch of regions that just get instantly trashed. And some that don't, even worse. Like, that don't help, but... But get trashed instantly. That, like... Hmm, but that stick around and clutter things. So here's the one we were getting stuck on. Oh, as fast as you can, please. Although I, th I think it's kind of just going crazy by how many how many regions there are. What's being trashed? I mean. Bunch of nines or fewer, I guess. Huh. Yeah, this is completely illegible. Let's see. Maybe... Maybe I can address this by editing that rule to only trigger, yes. A lot of the, so the other thing I noticed is that some of the rules I created in the early days before I knew about visibility rules, I constrained them to only trigger if the region they would be adding was not obvious. So like, Oh, I think the problem is that this this applies even if the region, the one plus, doesn't overlap with them at all. So let's say it only triggers edit rule if there's one or more, I don't know, here? And you see that instantly stops the chain of garbage going by, or at least slows it down. But... I think even more than that, I only really want to do this if there's at least one that overlaps with each of them, or at least one that overlaps with both. Like, this is true all the time, but it's going to generate a bunch of junk if there's not some interesting overlap. Let's say, in fact, it has to be... Oh, dear. Edit rule. Yeah. 
There has to be at least one where they all three collide. Let's update that rule. And restart this level and see if it still goes bad. It does. Hmm. So, okay, let's try again and see where it starts generating like the first really stupid region, which I'm sure there will be a lot of. Oh, I'm just looking at trash mode. Um, yeah, so that's all the like built-in regions, the first six. I'm gonna make some hidden regions, that's all fine. The first region I trashed, zero or more here, that seems fine. I guess I do actually wanna look at when do I first make a trashed region? Cause those are, like where did you come from? That's fine. These are all fine. Can I? If I, if I say paused, what does that even mean? If I... Turn up the speed, is this going to start triggering or... Yeah, see, it says it's applied many times here. I don't know what paused means here. Like, it's not updating this list? Why would I want that? Uh, okay, let's try again. Refresh regions. That number. Like... It stayed very large. It can't have applied 5,000 times on this level because there's only 67 rules total, right? Let's, okay. Maybe I should put some more one or mores in here. Like say, these two have, no, that's already true. By putting a one or more here, I've said this has to be a place where three rules meet. Uh. So adding one here is not going to really do much. Uh, so this, this seems like a case where... You can write like a recursive algorithm or a loop or what have you that is like making progress in some way, but it's unbounded. Like it doesn't have a good, mm. it, it's exploring in useless directions instead of prioritizing useful directions somehow. Right, I want to constrain this to only run when I think I'll get something out of this. I'm kind of just writing down like, oh, the region, uh, like you, you, a true fact. You can you can sh create a new region bridging these two that's smaller, but then when you do that you're creating now a new region that this rule itself can perhaps act on, right? I think that's the problem. You're creating a large, yeah. These two regions were kind of small. 
and you're creating a new region that's potentially larger than either of them was. And now it doesn't actually guarantee that that region overlaps with a one or more, I guess. But there are a lot of one or mores around the world, right? So it's going to find a lot of ways to interact the new region with this, with, with other one or mores, I guess? Uh, I don't know. I guess I have to give up on this rule for now. Um, maybe I'll find a way to write it that's less destructive in the future. But... I'm looking at just the trash. This, you know, this is a so sort of manageable sort of set of regions. You know, we need we still need to hide a bunch of these, I think. Um, and then maybe next time I find a region that has that property that, like, the rule I wrote would work for it and would actually be useful... Maybe I can categorize like when it would be, why it's useful, and see if I can include that in the rule. Maybe the useful thing is just that it's only interesting if it clears a mine. I don't think that's true, because we did actually see that while that rule was in place, it solved a few levels by like clearing five squares after triggering 2,000 times. But maybe that's because, you know, x plus y was zero or something. x plus y minus one was zero. Hmm, that can't really be true because you can't actually subtract one. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Maybe x plus y was one. So I think x could have been zero. Or y could have been 0, because we had written that the region size was y plus 1 or less. Yeah. So maybe we can revisit that now, I guess. And try to write it a little bit more... Productively, so that I can guarantee it'll actually do something. Like, if there's an X or more region, well, okay, call me crazy, but what if I made this X plus Y or more? This is definitely a way to guarantee progress. And there were an X or fewer and a Y or fewer. Then we could say those are all not mines, right? I guess that's helpful. Um, if we look at the list of rules and say... Oops. Just grind this out. Does that rule ever trigger? Yeah, it's gone a few times. So that's, it seems, a productive rule to add that can't generate extra mess. We're actually solving a few things in here now, which is a little bit of a surprise. Because I don't have very robust handling of ores. Yeah, 
And... Should I write the converse, or I guess the inverse of this? When there's an x plus y or fewer here, and x or more and y or more? It seems like that would be helpful. So let's duplicate this rule. Hey, duplicate this rule. I guess because it's changing levels, it won't let me edit rules for some reason? Well, in a second, it'll be done. I mean, we can just stop. We know we're not solving any of those. So duplicate this rule and say x plus y or fewer here. And there's an x or more and a Y or more, then don't clean these, but rather clean these, I think? No. Oh, the zero, I think, shouldn't be over here? It needs to be like these, right? If they have to put all of their minds, hmm. But isn't this just already handled by... I don't think this would actually trigger at all. Okay, it's also not true. Why not? Oh, I think I can only clear this area, right? Oops. If I could do that, right? And I don't think I can clear any of these. But I think this is like already gonna be handled, right? This is saying like I've already got a rule that says if there's a Y or more that doesn't touch this X or more that goes in here, then... Decrease this from X plus Y or fewer to X or fewer, right? Somewhere? Yeah, this one. If I have an x plus y or fewer, and there's x or more that has to shove all of its minds into it. Okay, so this, yeah, the rule I was writing was valid, but is already handled by my existing rules because of how little freedom I had outside of the, re the, the new regions I was looking at. It's interesting that this has cleared zero, but all right, I don't know exactly what that means. I'll take your word for it. Um... Like, I assume, like, I don't know what it means for a rule to clear cells if it doesn't have as its action clear cell. Hmm. I don't know. All right, where, where, where can we, like, go do some more stuff? Um, all right, we were talking about looking at these puzzles. And this one, I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Hmm. 
two or fewer, zero or more, very funny. It makes sense that those get created and then trashed, I think. Although, honestly, like... Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be trashing them, just hiding them? I don't know, it's probably fine. These two stand out somehow, right? Or no, this, maybe. Because if this were a mine, well, wait, why did this get deleted? That seems important. <laughs> ah. Well, shouldn't there be left a two or more in this region? What happened to that? Did I not write that half of the rule for x slash x plus one? Maybe that's what's wrong. Because it's fine to delete this, as long as you leave around the information that there's two or more here. So looking at my regions. Yeah, for x or x plus 1, I say there's x plus one or fewer, but I don't say there's... No, here, X or more. Did the rule get trashed before this applied? It's possible, I guess. Where are my trash rules? Here. So rule 25. I mean, it shows up late in the list. Oh yeah, this is tra right. That trashes that. That's fine. But it it's definitely this trash. I don't understand the ordering of things. Like, right? Let's pause time and look at this again. So. That all happens. Oh, and you gotta put in one more, I think. Yeah. Wait, why this? Who made this rule? There's a zero slash two that's been marked as a one. Oh, because there's one here, I see. So as soon as this disappears, I'm, like, interested. Or when it creates, it's three or less. That's fine. Here. So, like... Those somehow got created at the same, like, trashed at the same time. Huh. Okay, well, 
I guess I just don't need to trash the rule. I'll just be more gentle and hide it. I don't really understand the order in which this stuff happens. So let's just, we're writing down things that we know are true. So we can just hide them until it becomes important to trash them. Try again. Yeah, and then it solves. Okay. So we had a rule that was trashing important clues from this column. That's why it wasn't solving. In fact, there's only one we don't solve. All right. Well, let's try this again. All right, still no progress on that stuff, huh? Faster? Yeah, it would be nice to just skip these and work on those. I mean, I could just do it by double clicking here and then double clicking here, but I don't know. I guess I will do that. As soon as it starts working on the 200, I'll interrupt it. And what exactly am I on the lookout for by clearing all of these? I want to find, like, the puzzles that are left and see which ones of them have gotten stuck in a situation simple enough that I can add a new rule to fix them. And if I can't easily find any of those, then I'll ask for a hint. Uh, I guess. You know what, actually, this we spent 40 minutes. I'm trying not to make all these videos an hour long. So we'll just take a break here, and I'll grind through this stuff myself. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.